Hello, I am so glad to see you here. I'm Judy Herman, author of Beyond Messy Relationships and the subtitle Divine Invitations to Your Authentic Self. I want to share with you three questions to ask yourself if you find that you are, that you need to get beyond the messes in a particular situation in your relationship, whether you've been stuck in those messes or whether you continue to be drawn toward the messes in messy relationships. So tune in, here's three questions to ask yourself. Number one, ask yourself, what other areas of my life are a mess? I'm gonna be very transparent with you all. <laughs> I have struggled with clutter most of my life, paper clutter. I homeschooled my children at a certain time when they were growing up and had all these papers. And if you've got more than one child, or if you just have one child, even, you know what school paper clutter, how that can build up, how mail can build up, how your inbox can build up with emails. We have other areas of our lives. Let's admit it. We all have something <laughs> most, and, and a lot of my friends, a lot of my colleagues, they struggle in the same ways that I do, but take your inbox. For example, I'm just really proud of myself. I have spent some time over the weekend and I have just deleted, I deleted hundreds, really thousands of emails, <laughs> promotionals and updates and things that I know that I just need to click and get rid of because it's that kind of clutter and those kind of messes that can keep me stuck because I will miss out on other important things. So number one, that's the first question to ask is what other areas of your life are a mess and what do you need to focus on to be decluttered and to clean up that mess? <clears throat> because yes, our outward uh, relationships sometimes reflect what inward struggles that we have. Number two of the three questions to get beyond messy relationships. Number two, ask yourself this question. Am I used to being stuck? Do I get up day in and day out and there's a certain comfort level, so to speak? Am I just used to it? And this, the angst in between you and your spouse like if you were nice to each other, that might even feel odd. If you started honoring each other and treating each other respectfully, that may be very odd for you and you can't even see or envision or imagine what that would be like. So ask yourself, am I used to being stuck? And the third question, not only what areas of your life are a mess and what you're used to, ask yourself, what's it like being in relationship with me. If you are highly critical of your spouse, can you imagine what that sounds like if you were married to you? <laughs> I know it's kind of a crazy question to ask. There is actually a book, I believe, one question that can save your marriage, and that is the question, what's it like to be in relationship with me? So we see other people's issues. And I really align a whole lot more with some scripture that I didn't quite understand about taking the speck out of your own eye before trying to, or no, it was taking the speck out of your, <clears throat> the log in your own eye before taking the speck out of your neighbors. I, I didn't quite get that, but it's so true. We see the flaws of others and those that we live under the same roof with, and we see and magnify what their issues are, but we can't see our own, okay? Now, this doesn't excuse anybody, you nor that other person to continue to verbally abuse or yell or call names. It's not an excuse for any of that, but it just, it's, it's being aware of what you might be setting the stage for, okay? So we are, we do co-create. We co-create the thing that we have in our relationships. So I'm going back then to something else. First of all, just to review three questions to get beyond messy relationships. Number one, ask yourself what other areas of my life are a mess and need attention and cleaned up and get unstuck. Number two, am I used to being stuck? And number three, what's it like being in relationship with me? So I want to share with you some important information because there is the from chaos to calm group, we're starting another group 
sooner than later. And if the group is full by the time you click on the link about that, then make sure you fill out the application and you might be ready for the next group. But we are screening folks very carefully to make sure it's going to be a good fit for you and for the group. It is so very profound. We finished up one group last week and it has really made a difference. What you're going to do is you're going to raise your level of awareness. You're going to gain some skills for some peaceful interactions. You're going to see yourself differently. You're going to be aware of what some of these three questions that we talked about here. You're going to have some aha moments and you're going to be empowered to get beyond the messes in your relationship or beyond even what I know in AA, they call it stinking thinking, <laughs> stinking thinking about ourselves, about our lives, about our partners, or about our situations, how to, how to cultivate an attitude of gratitude to get you unstuck. So I hope that you check into that. I'm going to put the link in the description and in the feed here. And if you have missed a bunch of the videos that I've done previously for the last two or three months, go to my YouTube channel, Judy, I think it's Judy Herman Relationships and go to that. I'll also put the link in there. So, but check out the From, Calm, from Chaos to Calm group. Okay. And thank you so much because you know what? You are so worth knowing and really being honored and learning how to love and honor yourself and have self-compassion and to get out of those sticky situations and messy relationships. And by the way, you can get the first three chapters of my book. If you're not already familiar with it, you can get it first three chapters for free on my website, judycounselor.com. You can get it wherever books are sold in all formats. And it's a really good way to raise your level of awareness. And I hope that you tune in and thank you so much for joining me today. All right, bye-bye.